Hi guys, this is Corey, and uh, today we have the King 500 watt power generator. Uh, this uh, this machine or this device is uh, one of the best in the market and performs outstanding. What I want to do today is just go through um, opening it up, um, how it works, some things you can do and cannot do, and uh, just do a brief tutorial on it. And so you'll be off on your way of using this great device. So let's go ahead and open it up. Looks like it's well packaged. Um, most of these devices, since it has a lithium ion battery, uh, shipping, um, you know, uh, a lot of times UPS or FedEx or the Postal Service doesn't want the battery to be fully charged. And so if you're receiving a unit that's less than fully charged, that's perfectly all right. Uh, that's, that's what's mandated. So we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up. You can see on this side it has a, a lamp. Looks like it's at 100% already charged. This is uh, DC. The DC works for the two um, inputs and the USB. And then on the very back, you'll have the three AC, which is a rare function. Even uh, generators much larger in size won't have the three AC inputs. And uh, here's the DC ch solar charge. We'll do that and uh, we'll film that at, at a later time. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and push on the button. When I push that on, it goes to 100%. Okay, so we're ready to go. What I want to do is charge a couple things, and then I want you to understand what happens when you put too much power through the device. What does what happens to the device? So most people, when they're going to use this 288 watt hour device, that's 500 watts they will start hooking up a refrigerator or a washer and dryer or maybe a large oxygenator or um, a, a very powerful CPAP with humidifier and, and heater in it and it will just overpower the, the device. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the generator. It means that your device has way too much wattage for what this can handle. So what can this handle? Well, definitely can handle CPAP machines as long as the heater's turned off, humidifier's turned off. Laptops and cell phones and uh, crock pots and, and all your small uh, or smaller devices, uh, drones, um, can all be charged with, with this. And depending on the wattage of your device will determine on how long it will take to charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how... We can easily just plug this in. So we turned on the unit, and my laptop right here is plugged in to a big giant power cord. I'm going to unplug this laptop, and now I'm going to go ahead and simply already have this on. So now this is powering my laptop. If I were to swing, swing over here, and you can see. All right, there's this plugged in. You're gonna be able to see right here that it's being charged right now. You can see that the it's fully charged and that uh, this is charging my laptop perfectly fine. All right, um, and as it charges my laptop, this will start to deplete. Now, a laptop doesn't pull a ton of wattage, and so this will charge a laptop multiple times on just one full charge of the, the generator. What I want to show you next is what happens when you put too much power into a generator. So here in the office, I have a laptop, I have a huge monitor, we have a shredder, we have a big printer, there's another laptop over here, there's multiple things, there's speakers, there's all kinds of things that are plugged in to um, this big outlet down here. That you'll see if I plug this outlet in I think with all this added up we're well over 500 watts so if I plug in this outlet into the generator what should happen is it should trip this generator because this generator 
is too small to power everything at one time. So let's give it a, give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the laptop. I'll plug it back into the outlet over here. I'm gonna unplug the multiple, multiple outlet switch so you can see you can see over here everything that's plugged into it. A ton of things are plugged in. Generator's already on, so we're gonna see what happens when I go ahead and plug this in. Okay? So the generator, the, the printer kicked off. Now it's kicking back on. Monitor went off, now it's coming back on. And right now it's holding the power of everything. Uh, even at 500 watts.